So welcome back aliens, I'm Navin Reddy from Dalisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about Kotlin. Yesterday, Google made Kotlin as the official first class language for Android development. So initially people used to make Android applications using Java, C++ and also with Kotlin because Java was the primary language, I mean the first class language for Android and then you can also use C++ and Kotlin. But now, since Kotlin provides you a better feature compared to Java, it is much easier to learn and it is faster to make, I mean, write development, uh, write codes. They are making Kotlin as the first class language, which means from now, uh, you can choose either Java or you can choose Kotlin to work or to make Android applications. Now, of course, right, when Kotlin is easier to work with, people will move to Kotlin, right? And maybe if you are, if you are learning Kotlin now, so in future, there will be lots of jobs available for Kotlin. But then, is it Kotlin better than Java? I mean, can we just compare this two or instead of using C++, should we go to Kotlin? So what happened is in 2011, uh, JetBrains, the company who has actually created Android Studio. Now, if you open Android Studio, whichever version you are working with now, uh, it is made by JetBrains. So if you go to uh, IntelliJ and if you go to Android Studio and if you go to the help menu, you can see in about it is made by IntelliJ or it is based on IntelliJ platform. So IntelliJ is a product which is made by JetBrains. So JetBrains company have created this language called Kotlin, which is a flavor of Java. So you cannot say it is totally different from Java. So what they did, they observed Java because of course everywhere we use Java, right? And they observed Java and they thought, okay, Java is one of the best language because it works on JVM. And trust me, everyone loves JVM other than, I mean, they're not so much in love with Java, but they're love with JVM. And since Java works on JVM, we love Java. What if, and of course, right, everyone knows that Java is difficult to learn. So what if you can have something which is better than Java, not in terms of performance, but in terms of coding? Because ultimately, when you write a line, when you write a code in Kotlin as well, it will be getting converted into a byte code. So when you write a Java code, when you compile the Java code, you get a byte code, right? In the same way, when you write a Kotlin code, and if you, con if you compile that code, you will get a byte code indirectly. So Performance wise, there's not, not much of difference, but when it comes to the uh, programming part, yes, Kotlin is much easier to work with compared to Java. So yes, if you are a new Android developer, and if you're thinking Java is a bit difficult for you, you can switch to Kotlin. Now, uh, so from where you can, where you can uh, do this, uh, so now also, we, if you have an Android version, maybe 2 or 2.3, you can, you can install a Kotlin uh, library, I guess, or maybe a plugin. So just search for the plugins and install or download the Kotlin dependency or the library. But then if you if, if you can wait for some time, Android 3.0 is on the way, which is Android Studio 3.0, and Kotlin will be by default inside that. So you don't have to install anything, right? So use Android Studio 3.0 now, it is not yet out. I mean, not for everyone. And once you got that, you will get Kotlin in build. So that's the news. Uh, so maybe in future, everyone will move towards Kotlin. No, but don't worry, if you still love Java, Java will be there for a long time, okay? And uh, even if you're using Kotlin, indirectly you're working on Java, right? So the only thing which will change is the syntactical things. And there's one more thing, Kotlin also supports functional programming. It is not fully functional programming, but then it supports functional programming. And now Java 8 also supports functional programming. So there's not much of difference, but then yes, as for the coding part, if you want to make softwares very easily, if you want to increase your productivity, you can go for Kotlin. So that's it, that's from this video. Uh, if you want to learn Kotlin from my channel, just let me know on the comment section. I'm planning to make a playlist for Kotlin. So let, let, let me know your thoughts about it. So that's it, thank you so much for watching and do subscribe.